Hey guys, welcome back to What Cheers Pumpkin Blowout. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to What Cheers Pumpkin Blowout Tasting. Hey, <laughs> not gonna get this out. Hey guys, welcome back to What Cheers Pumpkin Blowout Extravaganza Tasting. This is gonna be a another blind tasting of strictly Imperial Pumpkin Ales as opposed to the regular pumpkin ales that we did last night. Um, basically, anything eight percent or higher is what we're gonna be looking at. Um, we picked out some of the best ones that we we could get our hands on in the area, and there's going to be six of them. We're doing Heavy Seas Great Pumpkin, we're doing Shipyard Smashed Pumpkin, we're doing Sam Adams Fat Jack, um, Weyerbacher Pumpkin Ale. Yep, Hoppin' Frog, yep. uh, Frog's Hollow Double Pumpkin. And Schlafly. And Schlafly Pumpkin okay. Ale. Uh, so we're really excited to get it going, and uh, we have my roommate and my father in the kitchen right now. They're pouring the beers into numbered glasses that obviously correspond to the numbered bottles. So we have no idea yeah. what anything is. And um, because of the different bottle shapes and sizes, um, unlike last time where we did you know all 12 ounces, um, we we can't see the bottles. We can't read right. the front. Otherwise, we'll know which ones they are just based on the size. So we really need to keep it as blind as possible. We have them in the kitchen working now. Um, so and, we're gonna get right into it, and yeah. we'll be back in a minute with the glasses. All right, so uh, Jared and I have been sitting on our asses doing nothing, and they've been getting the beer for us, so uh, let's bring it in. <laughs> Everyone hail to the pumpkin song. La, 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 la. Alright, so we got our six beers now, and uh, they all look pretty similar um, compared to the last tasting we did where everyone was very different. Yeah, this is like across the board the same color, and you know, not much head except for this one, probably just because it's in a smaller glass, number yeah. five. Um, but not much head on any of them, really. Yeah, I mean, I have, it seems like number two is a little bit darker than the rest of them. Yep, a little bit darker. It's but, a lot. Darkest one is number two for sure, and number yeah. three. The rest are kind of hard to judge, really. They're all very, very similar. These three here are kind of lighter. Yep. These three here are kind of darker. Um, definitely number two is the darkest, but let's go ahead and uh, get a smell, get on, a the smell on the one. Yeah, sure. This one has a lot of cinnamon and, and clove and nutmeg. I get a little bit of the pumpkin too. Definitely, um, there's some pumpkin character. Like, edge. yep. Lots of spice though. Lots of spice, but it is very pleasant. It's well balanced. Doesn't mm -hmm. you know? It's not overpowering or anything. You know, it's heavier, a little bit heavier on the spice, but still getting a lot of pumpkin. Now move to number two. Number two. Oh wow! That one's like a brown sugar bomb. Like buttery almost, like creamy. Yep, very buttery. Uh, a lot of brown sugar. It's like, it's like the pumpkin pie, but not as much spice. Very nice. It's kind of malty and. Yeah, it's, this one's great. I I, <laughs> yeah, that one is. I really that one's that nice. <laughs> That's a lot different than the first one. All right, number three. Number three. That one's got vanilla. Um, Definitely some again cinnamon nutmeg. Um, this one's very. Yeah, comes across as like warm. The spices are people warming. So far, it's my it's least favorite good. smelling one. Yeah, um, but it still smells like a version of pumpkin pie. I mean, yeah, these are all pretty similar. I mean, they're similar but still very different. Number four. Mmm, that's nice. It's really spicy. It's like fresh spicy, um, like fresh spices. Yeah, he just stuck his nose in it. Yeah, I did. I, I, he did it again. He stuck time. his nose in it. And again. <laughs> and again. It's like um, really fresh pumpkin pie spices. Um, I don't know how to explain it. You get a little bit of spice, but I think that's not only the spice, but you get like a spiciness coming from the pumpkin, com or coming from the pumpkin, coming from the the blend of spices as well. Yeah, a lot of a lot of nutmeg and clove in that one. Number five. Number five. Ooh, this one's kind of funky. I'm not. This is like almost like a sour smell. This one reminds me of. It's got spices, but it's kind of a sour, kind of. Aroma I, I get a little it. bit of tartness from this one. This one, man. It's maybe it's a little bit too cold still, but it reminds me of something. I can't pinpoint what it is though. It's not the greatest smelling beer for a pumpkin. I'm gonna have to go back to that one. Yeah. All right, last one, guys. Again, I get a little bit of buttery notes from this one. Some 
cinnamon, nutmeg, lots of pumpkin. This is hard to smell from this glass, but... See? What did I tell you last time? Yep. Smell this one. Yeah, don't stick it's... I didn't. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little bit uh, more like a uh, pie crust and spices yeah, kind of thing, but definitely. kind of typical uh, pumpkin pie. I'm going to go back to number five for one minute. Sure. It just... You're right, I think sour... Kind of funky. Is the way to go. It reminds me almost of like a, um, like a sour brown or something. Yeah. All right, guys, so we got a smell on all these. Let's go ahead and get a taste. Cheers. Cheers, man. That's nice. That has a lot of that real pumpkin character to it. Really well balanced. Mm -hmm. Nice carbonation. I get very just light on the palate, too. Like very light. I get just like a touch of alcohol in the back. Not a little bit at all. But just nothing too um, super minor. Yeah, really nice, solid, smooth drinking. Yeah, you get that real pumpkin, and I think that that's kind of rare. The pumpkin definitely to find in these, especially in Imperials. I think the Imperials more so focus on the spice. Um, it's hard to find the pumpkin pumpkin taste in yeah Imperial. So this one does a good job. All right, so you want to jump right into number two? I'd love to. I'm very excited about this one. The aroma is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, it's the best looking one so, color wise too. What do you think of this one? Yeah, it definitely has that real pumpkin character to it. It has like a like a creaminess. Yeah, um, like a creamy butteriness. Yeah, um, definitely. Like it has like a, a pie crust. Yeah, buttery it. pie crust. Yep. Um, I don't want to say salt, but I get it reminds me exactly of like butter. So. Yeah, it's a really easy drinking one too. Um, mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit of spice in the back of the throat, actually. A little bit of spice like, this. Really um, nice. Definitely though. some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some cloves, some, you know, all Kind that. of everything, yeah. All spice. It goes down easy. Not much alcohol to it. Um, I get, like, a touch a touch of, like, tartness in the back. Very, very minor, though. Nothing, pretty pretty nothing nice all the way around. Nice maltiness to it, too. Yeah. It's a, it's a good one. All right, number three. Wow, that's really nice. Definitely get some cinnamon. I think the spices jump out at first to me. Um, some nutmeg, some clove. Wow, that has everything. Yeah, that's 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 got the. I'm kind of speechless. I think that's one of the better ones I've tasted. The pumpkin and the spice is definitely well blended, and it comes across very well. I like it. Yeah, it's got the pie thing going on, like the number two. I'd say with less malt. It almost reminds me of pumpkin bread. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I would say that's a good that's a good comparison. Right, not actually. quite pumpkin pie, but still all those flavors just in a different mm. mold. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. really tasty. All right, so let's go ahead and taste the number four. Perfect. I get a little bit of sourness on this one. Minor, just a touch, but definitely more than the other three. It's got more spices. This one's more spice forward as opposed to more pie crust forward mm -hmm. or whatever. This is like kind of more watery too. This one focuses but, on the pumpkin, I think, more so than... Really? I okay. think so. Hmm. Not so much... I don't get the spices as much. Let me try it again. The slight tartness is um, what jumps out at me first. I get a little bit of spiciness to it, but... Yeah, not, it seems not more... major compared to the other ones. Yeah, it seems more thin than the other ones, as far as the body goes, I think, in my opinion. But it's still... They're all kind of really similar guys at this point. It's kind of hard to... floral pull. notes, this one, I think. Yeah, I think I, weird. I, I agree with the tartness, though. You know, I think it's a little bit more tart. It doesn't blow my mind as much as the first three, I think, but no. It's all right. Yep. All right, guys, so we're on number five now. Let's jump right in. This was the funkiest smelling one for me. This one still reminds me... Well, I guess I didn't taste it yet, but... Yeah, it, it reminds me more of, like, a sour brown ale. That's not, not very good. Not like flat out. It doesn't remind me of a pumpkin beer. Nope. It reminds me of a not so tart Flanders Red or a Blue yeah, Blue that, Blue or something. That's a good. That's a good comparison. Not as tart. Just a minor, minor sourness to mm -hmm. it. But it doesn't remind me of a pumpkin beer. It reminds me of like a brown ale or a red or yellow or something. Yeah, I'm not gonna taste that again. I didn't really <laughs> you didn't think like it was very good at all as far as a pumpkin beer goes. But I'm very curious to see what this one is. All right. All right. Number six. Last one, guys. The final stretch. Mm -hmm. uh, that one's got a lot of like a little bit of bitterness on that one. Bitterness, got some hops, got some strong carbonation to that one. Yeah, um, maybe a little bit of alcohol. 
last two have been the most surprising ones. Yeah, and I think that was the same thing with the aroma on the uh, five and six as well. Um, just a little bit out there as far as the pumpkin, imperial pumpkin goes. Again, just a minor touch of tartness to it. The bitterness is what stands out on this one for me. Kind of like how the the smutty nose had that really bitter finish. Yeah, on the uh, the standard pumpkin. This has nose. that kind of bitter finish that it was exactly, yeah, it's exactly the same way. I still don't like it either. I still it's, don't it's, care for it as it's well. Not what I'm looking for in a pumpkin. No, it needs to be smooth. It needs to end sweet. Um, but you know, yeah, it is what it is, guys. This is this is a really close. I mean, I think this is going to be really tough to tell which is which. It is going to be. I'm. I don't know if we'll get a any shot right. Bar. <laughs> I, nope. I don't know what anymore. So we're going to drink on these for a little bit, and we're going to tell you what we think they are, and then we're going to find out what they really are. <clears throat> so wish us luck, and we'll see you in a few minutes. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. So we've been sitting here for about an hour. We've been sipping Quite on some time. Yeah. all these beers, and it's been very difficult to figure out which was which, and then our favorite to least favorite, and then um, as far as the ratings go, that was another thing. So this was really tough. Really, yeah, really tough. Um, definitely much more difficult than the non-imperial tasting we did first. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on all these? For me, I thought number three was the best. Um, again, like I said earlier, it reminded me a lot of pumpkin bread, which um, is different than the pumpkin pie you usually get, and I, I really liked it. Um, number two for me was second place. Um, I thought it was great. Lots of that pumpkin pie kind of buttery notes to it. Very well done. Um, number one for me, this one right here, was number three, third place. Um, and then going down the line, I thought number four was fourth place. I thought number six was fifth place, and I thought number five was sixth place. My least favorite was number five. It just didn't do anything for me. Really. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think? Well, guys, I can tell you right now, this is going to be a real good one because I have all different ones than Jared. Very cool. Uh, almost all different ones, I should say. Uh, we do have the same favorite. Okay. I'm going to start with number three is my favorite. Um, next up, number two for me is number four. Uh, my third favorite would be number six. Uh, my wow. My fourth favorite would be number two. My fifth favorite was number one, and my la least favorite was number five. So we agreed on the best, and we agreed on the worst. Yep. Okay. So from that, guys, we're going to go ahead and tell you what we think they are, and we're going to get a reveal on these finally. All right. So what I thought these actually were, um, this was very, very tough for me. I had no idea. I'm kind of taking a shot in the dark here. Number one, I thought it was Hopping Frog. Um, Maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I have no idea. Yet. Yeah. Number two, I thought it was Weyerbacher. Uh Number three, I thought it was Schlafly. Number four, I thought it was Smashed Pumpkin. Number five, I thought it was Fat Jack. And number six, I thought it was Heavy Seas. What do you think? <laughs> uh, again, I, guys. Very different. Very different. So it's gonna be interesting. We're not gonna be right this time. All right, guys. Here's my my take on this. Um, the number one for me was the Weyerbacher. Uh Number two for me was the Fat Jack. Number three for me was the Schlafly. We agreed on that one. Uh, number four I have as the Hop and Frog. Number five I have as the Smash Pumpkin. And number six I have as the Heavy Seas. So whoever's going to be right, whether it's Either one of us or nobody. Yeah, I mean, neither of us. <laughs> neither of us. We're gonna find out right now. So we now. agreed on number three. We both thought it was Schlafly, Schlafly, and we uh, agreed on number six. We both thought it was Heavy Seas. So there's a little bit of a theme to this, but the rest are the rest are up for who knows up for grabs, is that so to speak. So Ross, my uh, roommate reveal? is gonna go get the bottles and he's gonna bring them out and show us what we got. Yeah, let's see how we did. All right, all right, guys. Here comes the reveal. What do we got for number one, Ross? Weyerbacher. Weyerbacher, what did I say? Not Weyerbacher. No. Woo! I said Hoppin' Frog. <laughs> Wrong. One for six. All right. So far. What did Beer Advocate give this one? Beer Advocate gave this one a 88. Okay. And Rate Beer gave this a 96. And I gave it a 80. And I gave this one an 88. Number two. Number two. Bring it out. Fat Jack. Fat Jack. Fat Jack. Two for six. I said it was Weyerbacher. I was wrong. <laughs> okay, guys. So for Fat Jack, uh, Beer Advocate gave it an 82, and Rate Beer gave it a 92, and I gave it an 82. So my rating was the same as Beer Advocate. I gave this one a 90. Okay. I really like this one. 
And uh, number which is surprising because I've had it before yeah. and I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the blind tasting is all about. Yep. All right, number three, Ross. No surprise. Schlafly. Schlafly, yeah, so yeah, right. yeah. Okay. yeah. Beer right. Advocate? Beer Advocate gave Schlafly a 92, Rate Beer gave a 96, I gave it a 96. So. I gave it a 93. All right. Well, that one was the one we're kind of the same on. Yeah. Kind of, that was kind of easy, guys. One for three honest. so far. <laughs> All right, number four. Here it comes. What, what is it, Ross? Hoppin' Frog. Hoppin' Frog. Hoppin' Frog. I said this one was Smashed Pumpkin. What can I say, guys? Four for six. Wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> when did Beer Advocate give this one? All right, guys. Beer Advocate gave this one a 85. Ray Beer gave it a 90. And I gave it a 90. I gave it an 83. All right, here comes number five. What do we got, Ross? Shipyard. We got the Shipyard Smash Pumpkin. And mm. I am five for six. I said this one was Fat Jack. <laughs> Wrong again. <laughs> Barry <laughs> gave it an 82, Rapier gave it an 89, and I gave it a 70. I gave it a 75. Okay. And uh, last but not least, I think, number six, what do we got? Left. Hey, we got this one right too. Heavy seas. Heavy seas, guys. Wow. Well, what can I say? I went for six, six for six. God damn it. <laughs> I uh, went two for six. Got two of them right, and the rest. Mis horribly he went to old. school for alcohol, right? What are you trying to say? <laughs> All right, I never class on pumpkin beer. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, the heavy seas beer advocate gave it an eighty-five. Rape beer gave it a ninety, and I gave it a eighty-five. I gave it an eighty. So, well, this has been a very interesting tasting, to say the least. That's for sure. It's taken us uh, well over an hour to do this whole thing, and it was uh, very, very tough. Kind of, uh, you know more interesting than the uh, regular pumpkin beers were and they're a lot more similar um, when you get to the imperial level. Very similar, yeah. There were a couple that were very different but um, the majority of them were so similar it was hard to hard to find differences. In and, and, and to be honest with you right now they're all better than the regular ones were. Yeah, they were great. <clears throat> so we both agreed that the Schlafly was the easy winner here out of these six. Um, you know, Everyone talks about Pumpkin as the best and Schlafly as the best, and there's a couple more yeah. that we might get to, hint, hint, wink, 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 in the future. But um, listen, we didn't call it what cheers pumpkin is extravaganza. Like, pumpkin block yeah, extravaganza tasting for nothing. For nothing. So, so there might be some more to come, guys. Uh, solo reviews. But uh, as far as Pumpkin versus the Schlafly, yeah, what do you think? You know, I actually gave them the same score, 96, and I actually think that they are both you know deserving of the best pumpkin beer that I've had but you know they're both different um, the Schlafly is it's hard to explain it's much more like a like a like a real pumpkin pie um, a little bit more subdued but at the same time it's just more inviting it's more reasonable to drink um, you know, the, 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 the pumpkin is kind of like a big dessert beer. It's really in your face and extreme. This one kind of has all that, but it's more, it tastes like more real pumpkin, less uh, less crazy, if you want to call it that. Sure. What do you think? You know, I gave pumpkin a 95, and I gave Schlafly a 93. Ooh. And Are you, do you stick by that? I stick by that. Um, really? I do. I think I like pumpkin better. Would you agree that they're both... They're both great, really high, but they're both a little bit different. I'd say they're the yeah. best I've had. Um, yeah, definitely. Different is a good way to put it. Like I said, you know, two times, three times now. This one reminded me, the Schlafly reminded me of pumpkin bread, whereas yep. pumpkin is pumpkin pie thrown through. It's got the spice, it's got the pumpkin, it's got the crust, it's, it's got the yeah. cream. It's, it's got crazy. Everything. It's over the top. And that, I, and for me, I love that beer. I love it. I think it. as far as, like, I could pick up a six-pack of Schlafly and drink that, but with pumpkin, you know, you... To drink a whole bomber, yeah, it's it can be fun and stuff, but you wouldn't want to do that all the time. This beer is more easy drinking for me. Yeah, um, and it has all those same kind of awesome for elements. For me, for me, pumpkin, pumpkin stands. Pumpkin is king. I yeah, I okay. enjoyed it. All right, well that's that's interesting. Um, so. But obviously, Schlafly pumpkin. So happy I got to try it. Oh, it's very Thank good. you to Dat. Thank you very much, Dat. Um, he lives in Providence here on the east side, and he hooked us up with these from a, a very recent trade. They're fresh bottles. Thanks a lot, man. But couldn't we, have done it without you. Yeah, we really couldn't have. I appreciate it. Um, so with that being said, guys, 
Number two of our pumpkin beer extravaganza is complete. Um, plenty more to come. Plenty more to come. And stay tuned. It's just going to keep getting better. We promise you that. Yep. So stay tuned. We'll don't, s- don't forget, we have a Facebook now. We have a Facebook. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on um, Facebook. We have a Twitter. You know, follow us there. Like our page. Comment our page. Comment on our YouTube page. Yeah, comment subscribe, everything. Talk to us. Share. I mean, everything. Come get the word out. Knock on our door. Whatever. Hell yeah. Well, no. All right, guys. We'll do a little guest review here. <laughs> all right, with that being said, grab the Schlafly. All right, we'll go with Schlafly. Again, cheers. Cheers, guys. Thank you.